We'd like to welcome Michael Block to the Media Centre here at the Charles Schwab Challenge. Thanks for making a little time with us, Michael. I know we've got a short period of time with you, but I guess the first question is, what has this last couple of days been like for you after your sensational week last week? I mean, I've said it a lot, but it's just a dream. I'm just cruising. i um, actually kind of glad that at this point I uh, haven't come to reality about what's happening and uh, so I can actually play pretty good golf because if I, I think if I sit down and think about it too much, I'm not sure if I could swing the club uh, on Thursday. You, uh, you teach lessons for a living. Um, what lessons have you learned about time management the last few days that you could pass on to maybe some of your students? You need a team. You know, I hear uh, the guys getting a lot of crap about their teams out here, um, and no longer do I think that's crap. I think it's great, and they need it. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot going on, and I really apologize to all my friends and fans and PGA members out there that uh, have texted me. Um, I'm sorry, I haven't gotten back to you. It's, <laughs> I literally scroll and scroll and scroll, and I, I, it never, it's never ending. It hasn't, I can't even get to the bottom of any of my, my feeds to even see how many or who's, who's seen me, so it's, it's been crazy. Um, and just before we take some questions here, uh, you've had a chance to look at the golf course, I think, today. I don't know how many holes you played, but what are your first thoughts on Colonial? Yes, today was my first time on property here at Colonial. I absolutely love it. The people here have been amazing. Um, the invitation was, uh, was fantastic, uh, obviously from Charles Schwab uh, and, and everyone here. I've only been here on property for 20 hours in, in town, and uh, everyone has been absolutely endearing. The volunteers have been amazing. I've made sure to pretty much meet every single one of them that's out there today. And uh, yeah, the course is great. The course fits my eye. A lot of cuts off the tee. Uh, you gotta be pretty straight. And uh, the greens are perfect. And uh, I've got a nice little ryegrass around the, around the greens. So to be honest, uh, it fits me a lot better than it did last week. Sounds good. Um, we'll jump into the questions. We'll start with Todd. Just raise your hand if you have a question. We'll get your mic. Did you bring right. clothes with you? Did you have to stop at the store? <laughs> or what'd you, what'd you have to do? I got the same bag. Uh, my wife packed it very quickly uh, over in New York yesterday, um, and then I had to jump on a plane and come over. And uh, I have, I think, in my locker a new package of clothes for this week. So thank God, because um, I'm not very good at doing laundry. And I heard you on the radio yesterday. We said uh, someone offered you thirty thousand for your seven iron. What are you gonna? Are you going to accept the offer? Are you going to keep the club? What's the plan? I've had a couple different offers. Actually, it's crazy, right? But uh, I've had a couple different offers. Um, and the initial response was it was $50,000. i would hand deliver it. And uh, kind of kiddingly, but I guess not really anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I've had other people um, ask about it to uh, maybe have it preserved in certain spots uh, for the PGA and et cetera, stuff like that. So it's up in the air. For right now, it just needs to hit shots in there uh, close for me and I'll go from there. Come over on this side. Michael, there's been a lot of press for Arroyo the last two days. What does this all mean for not just your club, but for golf in South Orange County as a whole? I hope it means a lot of good things, you know? I mean, golf's been on a big boom since COVID. Our club's been doing great prior to this. Uh, it will always be doing great one way or the other, if, whether this happens or not, or with or without me. Uh, we have such a great facility on 240 acres right in the middle of Southern Orange County. So, uh, yeah, the uh, Ranch Mission BL company that owns it and the Donovan brothers that run it, um, everyone there, uh, I don't know what it's like. I've seen videos. It looks amazing. It looks really cool. I can't wait to get back there and celebrate with everybody that's there working while I'm out here living a dream. So your manager for the club is here with you right now. Is that correct? Yes. So I'm the head golf professional, and then my director of operations is here, who's a PGA member, and then my general manager will be flying back in, I believe, tomorrow, his uh Daughter goes to TCU, so he can't wait to get back here. All right. MK? Hey, here. Michael. Um, just wondering, out of all of the incredible experiences you've had within the last week, uh, what has been the most encouraging takeaway for you personally? Um, that my golf game's good enough? Sorry. Um, yeah, that my games can hang with these guys. So. It's been a weird week for me. Sorry, I apologize. No need to apologize. We'll go to Steve on this side. Well, you, you mentioned a minute ago you're kind of glad you're not waking up so you can kind of, you know, just go with the dream. But how do you feel physically and mentally, you know? Great question. Horrible choice of black pants today. Um, <laughs> horrible choice. Uh, I don't have any shorts with me at all. So uh, I'm going to try to get some shorts here this afternoon, at least when I'm out here practicing tomorrow. I'll have some shorts on. But... Uh, 
Yeah, it's it's been it's crazy, but uh, yeah, this heat's good. But yeah, on the back nine here today, I started getting pretty tired, getting a little worn out. The sun's really hot out there; it's really humid. So I was just trying to drink as much water as I can and and rehydrate and come in here. And then uh, I'm really looking forward to having some, some sushi tonight, and pretty excited about that. Amy, Michael, what's been the biggest surprise of the last few days? <sighs> Mm, I mean, getting a text from Michael Jordan today, that's, I'm a big Jordan guy for my whole life. Uh, I was a little kid in Iowa saving 100 bucks for a pair of Jordans back in the day, and uh, pretty darn cool, to say the least. Could you share what he had to say? Uh, it was something in the way that um, what he saw is why he loves the game of golf so much. I guess that answers my next question of the most unexpected person that you've heard from. <laughs> it's, it was him, for sure. Um, a lot of different people, though, have been hitting me up. A lot of people have been giving me support even before it happened. Um, one of my best friends that is Albert Pools, and uh, I was able to watch him. I went to most of all the games uh, while he was a Dodger, which when he was close to me, um, and then would follow him around as a uh, St. Louis Cardinal, too. And, to be around him and to see what he did and at a similar age to me um, and to watch his professionalism and his willpower. And I mean, to be around guys like that really, really helps. And uh, I also play a lot of golf with Patrick Cantley, who, as you know, is robotic. And uh, I'm the opposite, <laughs> the opposite, but at least I can put a little bit into that in my golf game and, uh, and learn from these Absolutely uh, wonderful human beings and uh, athletes. Anything uh, any more? Yeah, we'll get a mic right back here. Jake, can you pass that mic behind you? Then? Thank you. Go ahead, Steve. Over here, Michael. Great, thanks. How, one, how comfortable one. are you with all of this? I've been around it in a, like a weird kind of small way and little tidbits here and there over the last 10 years. Um, so I'm somewhat comfortable with it. I mean, I'm not, it's just weird now where I come up through a gate and the guys at the gate are screaming block party, you know, when I'm going through and the guy making me an omelet gave me knuckles and said I did awesome last week. I mean, that's the part where it's, it's, it's a little beyond me at this point, you know, so it's cool, but uh, I'm trying to enjoy it. And it's, I, I feel somewhat natural with it, so it's cool. And, and just as a follow-up, and not to put a big damper on this, but inevitably this ends in some way at some point. Have you thought about that or are you just riding it out? Yeah, I don't really know what the future is going to hold whatsoever. Um, I'm not trying to guess what is going to happen. Uh, I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing. I just show up uh, on Thursday, teed up with um, Min, which is a, a buddy of mine, which is great. So super comfortable pairing and uh, just have fun. Just keep doing exactly what I've been doing, exactly what I did last week, and exactly how, honestly, I've lived my whole life. And whatever comes of it, comes of it. And I'll enjoy it one way or the other. I've got a great life both ways. So it's good. It's good all the way. Steve, we'll get back so to you. So, Michael, did, um, did Jordan get a response from you? you oh, said yeah. You, okay. oh, yeah. I okay. said, He's I, one I, of the ones that got it. One. Yeah, I, I told him that uh, I just want to be in one of his 36-hole games. <laughs> and just the other question I got, what's the connection to pull holes? And how did that come about? came about one of my um, one of my best friends back at in uh, Orange County I'm a member at Dove Canyon Golf Club and uh, one of the other mem members is uh, Nick Punto who was a baseball player at the Angels and a couple other places so Nick and I have been great friends for a long time and he had a whole bunch of baseball guys out one day and and he asked me to play and he goes oh yeah and you're with uh, pools and I was like what I'm like that's cool and so uh, played with uh, Albert and I shot like 64 something like that and and he's like, we need to play. We need to keep playing some golf. <laughs> and uh, he goes, do you want to play tomorrow? I'm like, yeah. And so uh, we become good buds. And I'm, I'm going to his wedding in the Dominican on uh, December 15th, uh, which will be a lot of fun, to say the least. So we'll just wrap it up. Um, Michael, I know your son's caddy for you in the past. And this was an unexpected uh, tournament to get into. Will you have the same caddy as you had last week? I do. John Jackson, uh, full-time Pebble Beach caddy. Um, great player in his own right. And uh, he came and covered for me last year because my kid couldn't caddy for me until Wednesday of the Southern Hills PGA Championship. So John came out and caddied for me on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday uh, last year. 
And uh, this year, my kid couldn't caddy again, so uh, at all. So I invited John to come out and be uh, my boy on the bag. And John did an amazing job. He's this like super chill cat that keeps you really grounded and keeps you level. And he loves talking about anything but golf walking down the fairway, which was huge last week. All right. Well, we appreciate you making time for us, and good luck this week. Cheers. Thanks for having me.